I got this call and we now try, we want to rescue the little bird and then let it free. And this is really good that you can have it on the documentation. Are we ready to yes. go? Yes, so come go on. <laughs> just go for the net. Where is this? I'll show you. Come. You are trapped because you can't go out of this hole. Soon we'll be safe. Yeah. But everything is fine. We'll be all right. Don't worry about this. Now you are safe. Soon you come to the water to your friend. <laughs> Smashed by a car. What a pity. Six years ago, we found a little dead bird on the road. And we were wondering what happened. So then you start to study. You ask the neighborhood, and some people say, oh, it's always been here at this time. They are poisoned, don't touch them. We don't know what it is. He goes for the moon, for the light. And when we do have moonlight, he is safe on the water. But when there's no moonlight, fog, and sometimes we do have foggy times there, I can tell you, it's South Shore, right? <laughs> and rain, you know. Then he sees lights here on the road, on the on the needs convenience stores, on the on your garages which look bright. Né? And he thinks, oh great, my moon. So he goes to the moon, that means on the road, and sometimes he stands on the road and says, oh two moons. So this is where I started with a little net and gloves and a flashlight, we started this. And then I thought, it's not good to do it just alone with my wife, so let's try to motivate some people. Yeah. So the kids of the neighborhood, I called them, it was very important, from now on, you are Puffin Patrol. They save them and let them fly the next morning. So, so we have the core group here. You're the original Puffin Patrollers. <laughs> yes. And they do the Puffin Shuffle also. <laughs> It's buffin' saving time, it's buffin' saving time, it's buffin' saving time. And I give him the briefing, so this is a little puffing, and it says puffin' patrol, you see here, the oh puffin' goodness. patrol, and then a stop sign with the bulbs, and it says it's puffing saving time, it's just for four weeks, and you can help by dim down unnecessary lights. Just simple, oh simple message. Right. The children are excited and they, we save them. We put them in the boxes, sometimes full, mm -hmm. and then they are they're quiet here. Yes. And then the people from uh, the government are coming, from animal research and things. Right. And then we do the measurement and we do have a high technology measure thing. We have a special designed onion bag. We put the little bird in the onion bag and then they have a special measurement and then we say, oh, 250 or 300. The biggest one we got was 350 gram. Normally that was 265. Mm -hmm. And then we do the bandings. Okay. The birds get a band, the band with a number on it, and the number says exactly the date, location, witness bay. So when the bird will be found somewhere else, they know exactly when it has been released. <laughs> oh, nice. I feel like a puffin getting banded. <laughs> was nice, eh? <laughs> and then they bring it to, to, to me, and I stand there with you or the children on the beach. And what I'm then doing is, we first let people touch the little bird. Yes. That is very good to get personal contact, because it's all about relationship between nature and human beings. Yeah? <laughs> and um, what we do there, then you give him a name, and then I do a demonstration. I tried to explain to the children what happened. They said, oh, look, I can swim. The first time that he feels water, and then he says, oh, it's good. And then he looks with his head in the water. I can see underwater. And then comes the important moment when he did this his first dive. He goes down, and when he comes up, all his instincts are perfectly uh, uh, active. So when the predators are not coming, he will dive immediately he's safe. And then we do an applause and say, hey, well done. It's a big party. This season we might save 500 birds. 
by rescuing the birds that come in on shore. They're helping, they're helping nature with the pledging success. <laughs> because the birds that come onto the land, um, puffins in particular and petrels, uh, when they come to land, they can't get airborne, they can't get back to the water, so that's the end of the story for them. So this gives, the, the uh, puffin patrol gives the puffins a second chance, putting them back in the water and giving them a chance to make it out to the water. It's such a special bird. Mm -hmm. He's also flying in the water. He's mm -hmm. not swimming, he's very fast. And I think he can dive more than 70 meters which is unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. between 30 and 40 years old. He stays now five years on the water. After five years, he does come back to the same spot here in Witness Bay. Then he's looking for a partner. He's laying one egg. After the, the parents lay one egg, this will be the result of this egg <laughs> after two months. So the people get awareness and the children tell now the, the, their parents, these are puffins because they look different. A puffin normally has uh, a color beak, you know, this is a symbol. Yes. But a little one, um, you see later on, has a, a normal beak and a white chest. Yeah. One of the greatest benefits of the Puffin Patrol is uh, creating awareness about the reserve and, um, and, and getting people in the community excited about this uh, incredible colony that's right outside the door. So after five years, now Elfie, this little one comes back. So when he flies, he meets with his other fellows there, and then they prepare the big journey. We will find out where he might go because of the ringing. And then when he comes back, something special happens. <laughs> And this Atlantic puffin is a, it's a, it's a national symbol here for the province. But I'm getting emails from people. They say, "Oh, Jurgen or Mr. Shaw, we were never so proud about our community since we found out the value of the puffin. I'm proud to be living in Whitless Bay or here in Newfoundland, and uh, it brings tourists in, and the tour boat operator." do make a lot of business with this, the artists, the industry. It's a very important also this, from the business part, yeah? Community, or oh, very important. I'm very happy that people now sitting together and talk. I see fathers who work day long very hard. The children say, Daddy, go puff and patrol. So they do two hours the tour here and when you see the smile of father and of the daughter or of the son, it's worth. It's oh. wonderful. Yeah.